Well, good evening, early evening, everyone. Miss Gail here, Georgia Peach Nut, on a very cool day here in Growing Zone 8A. Now, you know I'm going to be brief because it's getting cold, but I want to show you what you need to be doing. I'm going to show you what you should be doing. But first, I'm going to show you this right here. Look at that. Mulberries. Yes, yes, yes. Tons of them. T honey, and let me tell you what. I am going to put a jacket over this tree when they start turning. Because if I don't, the birds will come and get them. But look, I don't know if you can see that tree. And it's not big because it's died and come back. But it's full. And I plan to make them all mine. So what we gonna do here, Miss Gail? First of all, let me say hello to my new subscribers. I should have several. Welcome to your new home and your humble abode. Here in Georgia, the, rap the temperature is rapidly dropping as I speak. So I'm going to take you along with me. And I'm sorry for the camera work, but I'm holding it in my hand and I should have opened. Y'all hold on for just a second. I didn't open the stand up. Hold on, try not to lose you. And those of you who know me, know I use a wrap my citrus. Uh, she's not doing that today. They're gonna have to fight for themselves. So I'm gonna leave them alone. They're looking good. It's going down to 30 today. And she's trying to bear some fruit. Uh, this is the kumquat. Then we have lemons and other things over there. Not gonna go through that. We'll do another tour another day when it's not cold. So, what you should be doing right now? You should be getting a cloth, a blanket, something to come and cover your trees. Now you say, "Well, my tree's too big." That's all right. That's all right. Cover what you can. You may want to save just a couple of leaves, or not leaves, but limbs. Now I have my tree jackets here. I'm gonna pull you guys up. Hold on. Hold on. Don't go nowhere. Y'all yeah, know I got that tripod right. <laughs> so see if I can pull you up a little higher. There you go. There you go. Let me lock you in. So um life be life and we do what we can. So what I wanna do is save as much as I can. This is uh, my Guami Chi tree. G-O-U-M-I. The berries taste delicious. And it is flourishing. I'm going to save as much of this as I can and I think I'm going to put this green one over it. It may serve a better purpose. These are tree jackets <clears throat> and it's just going to take the wind off. It's doing its best to try to flower. And, uh, well, I want you to understand if you, your tree is too, if it's not, if it's too big, just put a tree jacket or a sheet or tarp or something over the limbs that you want to save. That's better than having no fruit. Okay? Some fruit is better than no fruit. So I'm, I decided to put two jackets on this one instead of one. Let's see here. I'm gonna pull this in too. Because it has the flowers on it. We don't want to lose the flowers. That's how the birds come and pollinate. The bees, y'all would say, come and pollinate. But if this frost hits it, it's gonna kill it. So we're gonna see if we can save it. I'll bring you back along with me to let you see if it works. And pull this down. Now you need to come on outside. I know it's getting cold. You're like, oh, I don't want to come out in the cold. Look, you ain't got to be cute. I ain't out here cute. <laughs> These little tides on here, I should have used them, but they get hung on stuff. I didn't do it the right way. But that's all right. I'm going to take my trusty handy dandy. Y'all know me and my anvil, anvil clips. And I'm going to start the clipping. I 
don't have time to be doing all that time. I could tie it like this. And uh, pull it like that. Just gonna pull that like that. But I know I got to clip it because that's not gonna hold it. And the wind is blowing. I'm gonna clip it to that little limb. I'm gonna take this one and try to capture these back here. So let's see how much of that we can put in. And like I say, if I can't save it all, I know I can't poss possibly. I'm just out to get some fruit. Some fruit. Just grab some limbs and decide which limbs you want to just cover. You may lose the other ones. It's okay. We in Georgia, we got fun and well. We have four seasons in one day. So this is our winter. In the morning, it's going to be fall. In the afternoon, it's going to be spring. And then, like the heads in the dirt said, in the evening, it's going to be fall or winter again. So just go with the flow. So I'm able to, um, this look like it got some thorns on it. I can't be playing with no thorns now. I didn't know they had thorns. I hope that's not what I'm seeing. So let me see how many of the limbs I can get in here. And it's gonna drop tomorrow, so it's gonna stay covered up until Wednesday. And you take your time, do what you can, and see if we can get this one in. While I'm doing this, you guys, don't forget recalls. Check those recalls, or you go to the store and stuff. Be buying stuff that's on the recall list now. Let's see if I got it. And this is going to just protect it some, give it a little microclimate. Microclimate. It could be 30 degrees out here, and you put these on, it can bring it down to 34. I mean, bring it up to 34. That's your microclimate in here. You create your own microclimate to grow your things. Yes, you can grow citrus like I have over there, but I have to create a microclimate for it by covering them up when the weather gets down into the low, like the 30s and the 20s. You have to cover them up. It's some work, but do you want to have your own food that you grew, that you know what's in it? Or you want to get all this recall food and get sick? That's your choice. So I've got this one, I think, <clears throat> About as good as I'm gonna get it. Putting it down. And I'm not trying to save anything else. Uh, these flowers on the trees, I'll show you in a sec. Let me see if I can save a couple of more here. Yeah, that's good. And like I said, this is a guami tree, and you need two in order for it to work really good. So I forgot the name of the two. One is a scarlet and the other one is a something else. I can't remember. I'll put it in the description, in the description, okay? So I'm just gonna tighten this up and clip it. Because more than anything else other than the cold weather, the wind is your biggest enemy when you have pebbles on your fruit trees. I'm just tightening it up so that less wind will go in there as possible. So it's a done deal. And you say, I don't feel like going out there doing that. I don't feel like it either. But I'm doing it because what? I want to come out here and get me some food. I'm bringing you down. Take your, take your motion sickness pills, okay? Y'all know me. I'm bringing you down. One day I'm going to get the kind of tripod. You manually do that. While we're here, let's see what kind of carrots we got growing on up in here. Let's bring you in. Get us some dinner. Yeah. That'll work. Not too shabby. Come out here. Look at that. 
That's okay. That little gnarly looking stuff means that there was a piece of um, stick or something in the way and causes it to grow crazy. But this is good. Okay? This is what it's all about. Come out here and grow your groceries. Eat your groceries. See? Instead of going into the store, you come out in your yard. And you don't have to harvest it all at one time. Just come out and get some. And you clean these up, put them in a piece of foil. You can cut them. A little honey and oil. Put them in the oven. That's some good eating. You can take them and also wrap them. This here's beets. Can't wrap them in that. Let's see if we got any beets coming up. Oh. Uh-oh, beets trying to do something over here. They're not quite ready. Give them a couple more weeks and some phosphorus and potassium. They'll be just fine. Uh-oh, this was, this was pulling up. It's not big, but it don't have to be big for me. You just cut that away and eat it. Yeah. You, you take what you need. Take what you need. Okay, we're gonna go over here and visit these flowers. These petals right here. The wind will come and knock them off. This is a, I think this is a pear tree right here. And I'm gonna pull you back. The frost hits this and kills it. It kills your fruit. It grows once a year. So it won't come back to next year. Now, they're good up to 30 degrees. I think they're okay. But um, we go down into the 20s, I'll be in trouble. So what I would do is come out here and I would take just this limb. And I would protect just this limb. And let me show you what I'm talking about. Try not to trip out here. Putting you back up again. Take your motion sickness, you know me. Okay. Locking you in. You can do this. Straighten you up. Okay. Won't let me be great. Say this lamb right here. You can take something like this. You say, well, I'll just save the one. You can take this whole jacket and put it over this. Careful, because you don't want to knock the petals off. Because you want the bees to come and pollinate. And if the petals are gone, that's a problem. Put this over it like that. And it's big enough to really engulf this one too. And then you tie that on there. You've saved some fruit. You may lose the rest. But you saved some fruit. You say, Miss Gail, I don't have a tree jacket right now. Uh, okay. Do you have, see like this flower just came off? Don't do that. Do you have some row covers? What's row covers? Well, you can get this at the bit box, not the bit box store, but you can get this from Amazon. It comes in different sizes and lengths. Or you can get it from your favorite feed, seed and feed store. You can also get those jackets from Amazon or your favorite seed and feed store. And you take this and you can just wrap it around it like that. Not too tight, but you want to secure it with some clothes pins or like I have these clips or some string. Tie a string around it and you saved your fruit on this right here. Tie some string around this and you saved your fruit. So it could be a sheet but you don't want anything that's too heavy that's going to put it down. So there's several ways you can do it. And you can do the same thing that this one. Anything that you can reach at your level, you go on ahead and you wrap it some kind of way. And like I say, you won't get a lot of fruit, but you'll have some fruit as opposed to the fruit being damaged by the frost, by the frost, so, or the freeze. So these are gonna be fine. They're supposed to withstand, I think it's 20 something degrees. We're gonna be at 30, so. They're gonna be fine. What's really getting them is that wind blowing and blowing the petals away. And this has the fruit is at the bottom right here. That's gonna get bigger and bigger. That's a little bug, the little fruit right here at the bottom. I can see it bigger and bigger. And I don't know if it's been pollinated or not. So 
<clears throat> you have any questions? I'm sorry, I'm stuck in the, in the row cover. If you have any questions, give me a holler in the uh, description below. And if you have questions from previous videos, give me a holler on this feed right here. I don't care if you go back. I'm not one of those individuals. But what I care about, make sure you come outside. See that wind? See that wind? I'm bundled up, up under here. Put on some gloves, I have on a wool coat. I ain't gonna tell you what else I got on my button here. And I, I like, do like the homeless people, you learn. I got some uh, paper towels under here to keep the wind from going through the thread and making my head cold. You got to think, okay? Hold on. Whew. You ever been locked outside your house? <laughs> I don't know if I did it or if somebody else did it. But uh I'm locked out of the house. <laughs> and this is not funny. What in the world? Y'all call the papa. Did you lock the door? No, I didn't. Okay, sweetie. Thank you.